placing images. So I'm going to share with you everything that could possibly be known about placing images or is least useful right now. I'm going to insert an image frame and right click on the image frame and say get image. Now certain images don't show up um, as far as placeable images are concerned. For example, a scalable vector graphic saved out of Inkscape might not show up. A PNG might not show up. The best way to do this is to drop this down to all files and click on frog SVG. This one, you can tell it has a transparent background because of the checkerboards around the outside edge. If I was to choose something else, let's say on the desktop I had, uh, I think I do have a copy of the frog from before. Maybe not. Okay, see the white? That means it's not transparent. Any checkers is transparent. Now an SVG, I'll just go in here and open it up. And you can see that the frog's in this frame. And I want to take and make the frame any size. The frame is dictating the size. And right click on it and say adjust image to frame. Now whenever I make changes to the frame, bigger or smaller, it adjusts the frog to that frame. And I know the transparency happened because if you look here, I can see the gray and the white, so the transparency came through. Now when you place an item, it's a preview. So I'll place another one in here. Insert image, click and drag out, and get an image. This time I'll go out and get the PNG version of it. So the PNG version is going to be raster, which is always going to be based upon pixels and based upon the quality of those pixels. So you can see this one is much smaller and I can adjust the image to frame and you can see the difference, vector versus raster. But this is just a preview, mind you. So in order to see the true resolution on, on either one of these, because this is being previewed in pixels after all, we have to right click on it and say, um, preview settings and let's go to full resolution. Now that one looks okay. And this one, again, full resolution because it's being presented in pixels. But when we zoom in on it, because it's being presented in pixels, the vector is just as pixelated as the pixels. It's only when you print it will you see the difference between vector and raster at that point. But you can see the advantage of having a transparent background is I can do all kinds of crazy things. Control C, Control V. Now whenever you copy and paste from one that is being previewed, you also have to go in and say that one is being also previewed setting at full res. Now, if I wanted to make a frame around things, I don't rely on the image frame itself to be the frame. Meaning, if I hit F5 right now, this is what's going to be hit. This is what's going to be pre previewed and printed. I can see that by going to preview mode. And if I need a frame around these things, I will rely on a shape. So I'll put the shape around, and that way. In the shape properties, under properties, I can go to line and I can increase the line width as whatever I want. Or the type of line whenever I want. If I hit F5, I make it look like this. Or if I go to view preview mode, this is what's going to be printed. 
but the frame now is independent of the picture and I can move the frame around. Sometimes it's very handy to have this. Here's my images layer. This one should live on a shapes layer or a frames layer or whatever, whatever you can think about. But but now you can shut them off either one so organize the layers as best you can because it really helps out especially with big illustrations big layouts this is nice alright so that's everything that can be known right now for placing images within your document please move on to the next video